Well, let's face it, we can't all have George Clooney's good looks, but with this simple plug-in for Final Cut Pro, it might look like a distant cousin. Today, I'm going to show you how to smooth skin in video using Final Cut Pro and one easy-to-use plugin. Coming up next on PCClassesOnline.com. Alright everyone, here we go. Now that you're going to find this is incredibly easy to do. Uh, it's really a total of three steps once you have the actual plugin. So I'm going to walk you through it. If you need step-by-step -step directions, I will include them in the description of the video. Now in order to do this, you do need, of course, the latest version of Final Cut Pro. As of the date that this video is being recorded, it's version 10.1.4. The only way to get that is through the Mac App Store and as of today's date, it's $299. But it is pro software, and if my memory serves me right, it used to be, I think, $2,000. So it's come down a bit. Um, now the effect that you're going to need, uh, with a small minor disclaimer. So in order for us to keep PC Classes Online a free service, we have to find creative ways to monetize. Uh, for example, when you watch our videos, there's usually a little ad. That's one method that we're able to use. I'm including a special link to the website that I'm about to give you in the description of the video should you purchase this plugin or any of their plugins if you use that link we do get a small commission i just like to be upfront with all of you about that so that there's no uh nothing shady about this um so here it is it is fcpeffects.com for those of you who are video editors they have a lot of really great plugins and they have discounts if you purchase more than one so you might want to check out a whole bunch of these before you make an, an initial purchase. There are two key plugins that work really, really well together, one of which we're going over today, which is the Smooth Skin, sorry, Skin Smoother plugin. The other one, which you actually kind of saw here in their little uh, banner, is the Finishing plugin. It works uh, on things more than, more than just, uh, you know, individuals it also works really really well on landscapes it just really brings out um, it makes all the colors just really pop it makes it very very vibrant it's a great little plugin I've used a few of theirs um, and this is uh, just one of them although uh, believe it or not and some of you may not I've actually never used it in one of our videos before um, so skin smoother it's really really simple they have a little let me mute their audio uh, they have a little video that kind of shows you uh, a little bit of before and after footage of how it works. So here we have a woman pre and there is post effect. Pretty cool. It is possible to overdo it. I think in this shot they actually overdo it a little bit. She looks a little too glowy right there. Uh, this gentleman here, before and after shot. So you can see here, it's a really amazing plug-in. Um, and what's great is that if you have subjects moving around in the shot, it will actually track them. So this particular plugin, if I remember correctly, right now they're, they're doing a special promo right now. I think it's normally $39, but if you purchase more than one, you can usually get about 50% off. So um, let's go over how to do it. When you download uh, the actual plugin, it comes in a folder. In this case, it says Skin Smoother. Uh, the easiest way to install it is it's this little .app file right here. It takes two seconds. Just make sure you're not in Final Cut when you install it. Okay, so I just did that. So let's go into Final Cut. And I have some footage. It's actually the footage that you all just saw in the opening part of this video that we're going to be using as an example. Uh, when I taught this class live earlier today, I used footage shot from my iPhone, and uh, it didn't really show it off as well as I would like. So let's import this footage here. Okay, and I'll show you step by step how to make this happen. So you have to click on, I'm just going to mute my audio. Uh, you, you can click on your shot here, okay? You want your playhead to be over whatever shot it is you're working on. For those of you uh, who maybe are doing a multi-camera shot, you really want to apply this effect to the entire clip, okay? And that way, then you can splice afterwards when you're going back and forth between camera one, camera two, camera three. So uh, what we're going to do, click on the clip, and over here on the effects window, which if you don't have it up, it's this little button right here. Looks like two little windows there. Uh, you'll see you have a brand new category called My FCP Effects. Now, in here, you're going to see a giant list of all these different skin tones, okay? And the idea is they give you a really good range of options here, okay, from lighter to darker skin tones. So you can kind of eyeball it initially, and what's going to happen is when you put your cursor over one of them, it's loading it right now, 
you eventually want it so that only your skin is visible. Now, if there's some stuff in the background that you can see, don't worry about it. That's okay. Usually, they won't even notice it. Okay, so like that one right there looks pretty good. It looks actually very, very creepy initially. Um, but let's just see if we can find that one right there is looking pretty good. Hmm, so this is going to be a tough call. I think I'm going to go with this one right here. Now, I did not shave this morning, so that's why you can see my beard so well. I wasn't sure if that was going to be a plus or a minus for this video. When you find the one that is the closest to your skin, it's kind of funny. You can see the model skin in the background. Uh, we're going to just drag it and drop it on top of that clip. Okay. Now, again, there's a total of three different steps once you've dragged this uh, on. Okay. Uh, the first one, actually, that was the first one. Step two, okay, up here we have the inspector. In case you don't see it, it's this little button right here. Okay, so it's off, it's on. So you go into the inspector, and we're going to actually scroll down, kind of ignore these first options here, and we're going to start dealing with everything that's below where it says isolate.skin. It's all these effects right here. And what you need to do is just kind of manually adjust these so that it's showing as much of your skin as possible. And it just means kind of tweaking the, the black levels, the white levels, the mids. Okay. It actually did fairly decent uh, in my case, and I'm not going to do, I'm not going to be perfect with this one. Okay. I just want to get it generally pretty close. So when you have it to the point where it's looking pretty good, what you're going to do is this little checkbox for isolate.skin, you are going to uncheck. And it's going to initially look probably kind of fuzzy, okay? Like right there, it looks a little too warm, a little too blurry. So we're going to scroll back up at this point. This is the final step. And especially with these top options right here, I mean, you can do a little bit here, but especially these first few, you're just going to kind of dial it back probably a little bit. So it's sort of a happy medium between that really overly fuzzy look and real, you know, something a little bit more realistic. Okay, you can do the smooth skin here. And I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see this, but it actually is making an effect. You can change how bright it is, however you want. And when you're done, what I really recommend doing is go into full screen mode so you can really see the difference. And it will play it in real time. This is me screwing up in outtakes. Um, but you know, you just kind of play with it until you're happy. And when you are done, it is going to take a long time to render out this shot. That's why I recommend really, I always freeze frame at the most inappropriate moments. Um, that way when it, when it is done, you have the entire shot to work with. So now at this point, if you've rendered the entire shot, you can splice wherever you need, move shots around, etc. So I hope you've enjoyed this class. Uh, again, if you use that special link in the description of the video, we really appreciate it. And if you haven't done so, um, two quick little recommendations. Uh, you may want to check out, we have an entire class on Final Cut Pro. For those of you out there who are maybe a little bit newer to this software, uh, I will put a link to that in the description of the video. And that's all. If you are watching us on YouTube, please consider clicking that little like button. When you do that, it helps other people out there find our videos. So we really appreciate that. It's sort of like giving us a tip for doing good work. This is David A. Cox with PC Classes Online. Class dismissed.